Jeremy Grant doesn't get hit back over his head very often. But that's the style of Nathan Ashton, the bottom hand player, backs himself, good judgment and good shot selection. Just a suggestion, he closes the face a wee bit here. Yes, he does, and that drags it straight, if you like, makes it very safe. But there's that short of a length delivery, enough to get onto the front foot, well enough up for that. And away she goes. And an indication that there's not a lot of pace in the pitch. Australia winning the toss and electing to bowl. So what can New Zealand do? Can they post a total to put some pressure on the world champions? Yeah. Lovely shot again. And that'll go all the way to the fence. Consecutive boundaries for Astle. Well, let's see if this is widths. It's certainly short enough, maybe an overcorrection by McGrath. It's enabled Astle to get away. Well, it's not that wide, really. It's a good stroke. Played on lengths. Yeah. And again, three fours of three balls. So McGrath, who's normally so accurate with length and line, just straying, and he's saying, I can't believe it, it's 22 for one. Lovely shot. Three bounces and over the rope. You can't bowl short on a slowest pitch to a player who's a good puller. You are inviting some danger. Yes, well, he's already had one short tried to get this one and he's really just paddled it round there getting it over the man just behind square and enough on it to be safe got well, the Andre Agassi top spin cross court forehand and there's no danger to run on that one so Astle has shown his intention so it's going to have to be a change of pace by the Australian bowlers. Keep the length right. But at the moment, Ben McGrath is just a little frustrated. Yes, I don't think Glenn likes this pitch much. But certainly Astle's enjoying anything that's pitched up around about off stump. Just short of a length. Second slip has gone to short cover. Can he get past mid on? No, he can't. Good piece of fielding. Keeping the batsman on their toes or in their crease. Fleming has two wickets. Now a new bowler, Ian Harvey. Gotcha. And uh, he could be gone as well. Oh, just clears the man back at deep square leg, Damien Martin. But for a horrible moment. Nathan Astor would have been thinking twice. And Damian Martin would have thinking this is going straight down his throat. Gets onto it uh, just a little bit underneath it, Nathan Astor. Damian Martin at this stage states walking in. Oh, and it was all fairly close stuff. He's in there probably about uh, a metre. Quick single, so a bit of a flourish to start with Harvey. Slips and foot gone, long gone. And McGrath can't stop it. So another boundary for Nathan Astle. And New Zealand now going along quite nicely. It's pretty wide, Glenn McGrath down in third man. And Nathan Astle gets uh, a good thick edge. And times his dive to perfection, Glenn McGrath. Just uh, couldn't quite get the right hand on it. Something about... Predictable, I think, mid off and mid on are up. And Astle has smashed it a long way back. Pretty intelligent as well from Nathan Astle. Not going to let uh, Shane Lee settle down into a rhythm. He's going to take the attack to him. Mid on and mid off up. There's 
long as he got enough on it, it was going to be safe. In the air, and wide of Shane Warne at cover. A run around to Bevan on his wrong side, so they'll get through for a comfortable two and bring up a well deserved 50 for Nathan Ashley. He was dropped on Norton. And over extra cover, lovely shot, got inside out and one bounce over the rope. Might have been worried for a while, Nathan Estill. In the air and past Adam Gilchrist for four. Not a catch, not a chance. And a pretty well educated shot, perhaps a little too close to the keeper for comfort, but Glenn McGrath walks back and says, another boundary. Still on 99. The crowd here in Napier get to their feet. And still has one day international hundred, number eight. Outstanding summer. And Gilchrist and Nevin both acknowledge it. A uh, great moment for Nathan Astle. Excellent innings. Just the 123 balls. Nine fours and two sixes. There it is, a full ball from McGrath, tempted Yorker, pushed down the ground by Astor, but excellent innings. Congratulations from Adam Gilchrist and his partner Chris Nevin. Too short, but he might get away and get a wicket. Trying to pull him away, a simple catch for Gilchrist, so Fleming gets his third wicket of the day. And he played the right shot, just couldn't quite get enough bat on it. The end of a very good innings from Nathan Astle. Played well, 104. Yeah, just didn't get on to it. Gilchrist takes easy catch. Good breakthrough for Australia. They get rid of Astle for 104. And New Zealand 2-2-3 for 7.